welcome back to Bianca's Tarot. Um, today's video is kind of unexpected. I didn't, I don't even have the thumbnail ready for this, so I'm gonna make it literally after I'm done filming this. But um, I was going through like requests because when I first started my YouTube channel last year, around this time ish, um, I got a lot of requests and I was like, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. But then I got kind of just you know i kind of forgot about them to be honest so i'm kind of like just going through what's highly requested like what i know most people would want to watch and what i feel comfortable at reading and it's ariana and mac um the only other reading that's in this it's intense in sorry i mixed up my words in terms of the context is ali lottie and juice world it's kind of similar you know how um, except Ali and Juice World never broke up, but you know, a relationship with a di a relationship that had to go through the obstacles of someone with addiction issues, obviously, and that's not um, news. I mean, Ariana has talked about it. Mac was honest about it, so it's very sad what happened. In my opinion, um, my opinion, I think. Her, what was her song on the album? Ghosting, I think. The one she made in dedication to Mac. Very, very sad. I'm not a huge stan of hers. Um, I respect her as an artist. I think she's kind of equivalent to the Ma Mariah Carey of our generation. Um, she's definitely like a legend we're going to look back on and be like, oh my god, you know, nostalgia. Like, So I do feel like I, I do give respect to her importance in pop music, you know, and music in general. Um, Mac was also very talented. Um... I actually started getting into his music when he right before he passed. So two really talented people. Um, it did seem genuine their relationship. I do feel like they loved each other. Um, but let's see what the cards have to say. And I'm not gonna be channeling Mac, so I'm not like trying to, like, I'm not trying to bring him in the reading, his soul or anything, and like have him connect with me. I'm gonna try to manage to try to get information about how he felt without doing that in a way so I'm, hopefully it works I don't want to feel I just don't want to get drained like that so anyway because I can connect there I just don't want to because it's just I'm not comfortable doing um mediumship readings yet I can do it but I want to learn more about how to do it from professionals because it's not like uh, it's not um you should definitely do that when you're ready not just for fun or just because you think you can. it's I take those things very seriously. Um, which is why I don't even have it on my website anymore as an option to read for people who passed on. Um, but anyway. So. I just. So Mac obviously is not here anymore. But I want to see how Ariana is feeling. I know she's married now. Um, how does she feel about him? the moment yeah um like towards the relationship and just she's doing a lot better she's doing a lot better i feel like she really wishes him well wherever he is um she does wish him well wherever he wherever he is i feel like There's just like a lot of respect for him. Um, there's a lot of love. I think she does believe he's in a higher place. I think he is too, hopefully. Um, she wonders how he died. Like, I don't think she's completely like in shock over this anymore. I just feel like she feels conflicted about his death. She feels conflicted about um There's something with his mother too. I think um I have something I want to say, but I don't want to say it because I don't feel it like I feel like it's kind of invading on her privacy a bit, so I won't say it. But there is something she kind of wonders about in regards to him. And it's some, there's also, she's really concerned about his mother. Is his mother okay? Um, I know his mother's alive. Is she alive? I don't know if she talks to her, but I feel like she's not in communication with the mother. And that might bother her. I think she wants to talk to the mother. 
Um, I don't think they they speak it anymore. Um, and it's you know it's crazy, you know it's spooky. As I'm reading, I literally like the right side of my body is like cold. Like it feels like there's like breeze, like a cold breeze. Um, it's like I'm I don't want to connect with Mac. Um, in the sense of like channeling him so it's just like I'm not comfortable with that I know a lot of readers on YouTube are but I'm really not um because I'm still getting used to that um one day I will be one day I'll have way more videos on here of me trying to connect with people who passed on in the celebrity world but as of right now I'm still but I could feel it I'm already starting to feel something I don't know what it I don't know I'm trying not to deeply channel I'm just trying to get basic information without channeling um, you can get information without directly channeling a dead person. I think that is possible. But, alright, so I want to see, let's get a deeper look at how Ariana Grande looks back on this relationship into now, okay? Alright. Yeah, she, she keeps looking at him as the king. Every time I ask about him, but in her perspective, she looks at him as the king. So she always had like this amount, she has a lot of respect for him. Like she's looked at him, I feel like, like, was there an age difference? Is he older? It feels like there's like a lot of respect. Like I see somebody looking up to someone. So this is a person she really looked up to. I think she was really in love with him. I think that was genuine. Um, She wanted to move forward with a lot of things with him. Like, you know, this is the beginning of the relationship. This is like, you know, she really, really admired him. And it wasn't because he gave her butterflies or anything like that. It's like, just who he was as a person, I think was like, wow, like, this guy is incredible. I love the way he speaks. I love his aura. Like, I really love this guy. I love his work, you know. Two of Wands and the Seven of Swords. This could be talking about the addiction here. I just said addiction and then devil popped up. Um... She wasn't a, it's, it's so sad, um, really. I think that when she first met him, she didn't even know he was addicted. I think maybe he hid that very well. Like, he didn't come off like, um, like a sleazy guy or like, you know, how sometimes people with addictions, they, you, maybe they come off in their day-to-day -day life like there is something off with them. Mac was not like that. He hid it very, very well. So this is, I always look at this as like where the issue's starting to come. Two of Wands and the Devil and the Seven of Swords. His addiction is here and it's it's speaking. So I don't think she was aware of that he had that in the beginning. It was like revealed to her in the relationship. Um, it made her feel very conflicted. And she kind of looked at him as a liar. Not that, like, he's a bad person, but it's like she felt like he hit it very, very well. And now she was forced in the position, like, what do I do? Because she didn't sign up for that. She really didn't. And she wasn't really aware. She felt kind of betrayed on a level by him. She felt like he could lie to her about other things. It was really shocking for her. Like, it was really shocking for her. She really wasn't, this isn't what she signed up for. You know, it was really um, shocking for her to, to know that about him. He kind of came off, you know, Six of Wands, like, like he didn't really come off like that. And she wanted this to be successful. Um, oh, she really wanted a lot with him. It's like in, in the whole reading, she, like she really loved him. But his addiction issues, he also kind of lied a lot. Like, she could tell when he was lying. Um, and this is more about today, how she's feeling. I think she's accepted his death. Like, I feel like she was in shock for about things for a while. But I feel like also she really just wants to... She might name a kid after him. I know that sounds kind of weird. I, I don't know how her husband feels about that, but... There's going to be something made in honor of him. Um, in her, like, I got the Ten of Cups with him, and he's not around anymore, so obviously they're not going to get together. But I also feel like there's something related to her own family one day 
with Mac. I feel like she will like honor his legacy, honor his name and in some way, maybe passing down something. I really don't know what it is. Um, I mean, it is kind of awkward to say like I'm naming my kid after, but just because, he, you know, they were exes, but she did, they did love each other. So, it, you know, I hope if that really happens, it's not like awkward for her new relationship. Um, I think Mac just like, she looks at it back now, like where she just appreciates family more and love more. And I think she's thankful for that relationship because she knows what love feels like. And she knows what she wants for her family. And she knows what she wants in a relationship. Because I think Mac, although he did have his issues, um, there were things about him as a person that were just, you know, like, just really admir admirable to her. Like, like, she really respected him. So she's looking back at this as a Ten of Cups and a Two of Pentacles, which is about, all about balance in life. It's all about balancing in life. And strength is mental courage you know like having that perseverance so i think it made her a stronger person there's something popping up with a mother does she want to talk to the family as well because i feel like there's something about his family um i think she wants to keep in contact with them and she wants to talk to them and maybe have a relationship with them um especially his mother was she close with the mother because it feels like she's popping up so let me actually shuffle these and then I'll do the oracle. But yeah, you know, I have so many cards of love. I have so many cards about love. Like, she really did love him. Um, and their only issue was his addictions, you know. And it's so, it's so sad. It's really sad. But, um, you know, those were his demons. Those were his things that he had to work on. And, um... I just hope Mac is in a better place. Okay. So let's get the oracle for how Ariana feels about Mac. Um, let's see she looks back on this relationship unrequited love i think um there was something in the beginning where it wasn't requited like somebody wasn't as into it the other person i think for a while it's funny she could have thought he wasn't into her even though she's ariana grande like she kind of she could have had that thought um express your love yeah she really did like I know like it kind of I know she's been in a lot of relationships and there's um, many opinions about many things but if I had to really go on a bet here I really would say that she genuinely did love him um really you know she really did care about him you speak to me through music that's so crazy uh, like she feels like she feels him through music and music kind of is um a way they're still connected um we need to let each other go i will wait for a sign from you that is so it's like uncanny right like i do feel like it's like she does have some sort of connection with him even though he's on the other side and there's something with music. I don't know if, like, she felt like there were signs with him through music. Um, she still waits on signs from him. And the codependency card is, like, I feel like there was the... I mean, you know, addictions are affecting your romantic life. There was a codependent relationship at one point. Um, in a sense, it is kind of codependent because I do feel like she still feels signs from him. And there's still some sort of connection there. At the base, I got I love you, which is really, really cute. Um, so let me get these cards. You didn't imagine it. I feel like, I don't know if there was like, 
wasn't she, okay she dated jay right right before mac or am i mistaken i forget the order but i feel like somebody here was like they thought they weren't into each other or something i understand you better now i feel like she does accept his death though i feel like she accepts the situation um and she accepts i don't i think she's not making herself feel guilty anymore about leaving him i feel like she's that was really hard for her as it would for anyone what did you want from me? Yeah, she couldn't really, it became a codependent relationship. I think it became really hard for her, but she loved him and she didn't really, um, it, I mean, it is kind of what it seems like. like. His addictions really did tear them apart and she felt like he had a tendency to lie. Um, most of the people who are addicted to stuff, they tend to lie. It's just what comes with addiction, but it's unfortunate. You know, because I do feel like she really did love him and wanted something with him. Um, if I'm not mistaken, is that her longest relationship? Can you guys... Because I, I feel like they were together for a long time. I, I feel like it was. I'm not sure. Um, and at the base, we have forgiving and learning. I think she's healing from this. And she still does love him. Okay. All right. Um, yes, yeah, so let's see how, okay, so I'm not channeling, um, but I would like to get some information in a way where I don't have to channel his energy directly, but how does he feel for Zariana on the other side? Like, how does he look back on the relationship? Ace of Pentacles. You know what's funny? At first, it was, like, more about work. I know they had that song together, right? He was looking at this more in, like, a business opportunity. And I'm not trying to sound shallow, but it really was like that. He thought, like, they were introduced in a way where it was more about, like, work. Um, this is different, okay? This is very different. This is very different. Very, very different. Okay, yes, he is, um, interesting. Um, I felt like he, um, didn't really trust her, um, be honest. I feel like in the beginning of the relationship, or, like, when we, they first met, or however they got together, Three of Swords and the Sun, he was kind of worried about getting his heart broken for, from her. I think he wasn't really in a place of... He had a lot of trust issues already walking into this. I think he could have been hurt from the past already or was like, mm, I'm probably not going to mix work with love. I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, but then he did, you know, I have the four of pentacles and ten of cups. I don't know really what happened, how they got together. But when he got with her, like, he was all in, you know, he was like very like wife children one day the emperor page of pentacles and a cups like you know very serious about her i feel like he wasn't trusting of her in the beginning though i don't feel like he trusted her i feel like he looked at her differently but i think as they got in their relationship as time went on he really fell for her like he really loved her i think his father liked her or like a father figure in his life also really liked ariana I think they did a lot of family things together. Like they always had their both their families coming together. Um, it was hard for him to juggle the relationship with his career. And he felt kind of burdened and like overwhelmed and like he couldn't really keep up with everything going on in his life. And I think that's really, a, that was a struggle for him. Um, the Five of Wands and the King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Five of Cups. The breakup really, really was very, very hard for him. Um, it really was hard for him. With Ariana, it felt like she had no choice. It felt like she was backed up against the wall. So she felt kind of justified in leaving. I don't feel like it felt... I'm not saying she wasn't sad, but at the time when they broke up, I don't think she was assuming that something was going to happen to him. So she didn't feel that bad. She felt bad, but not like this. It felt like Mac was really down on himself about 
her leaving um, or them ending, whatever. He felt really conflicted with himself. He felt horrible, like... Um, yeah. He felt horrible about it. Um, he still kind of does, even though he's crossed over. Like, he feels like there's, like, a, a lot of missed opportunities he could have had with her and, like, other things. He was really depressed when this relationship ended. Lots of depression I'm seeing, lots of regret, lots of feeling, like, doomed. You know, he kind of lacked a lot of optimism towards the end. Um, I just think it was hard for him to juggle everything. And, um, you know, most people that are addicted, it's just, like, their way of escaping reality. So I feel like when Ariana, their relationship broke down, it kind of had to... He had a shadow period where he really had to, like, look at the things he was avoiding. And that was difficult for him. Um, how sad. How sad. He felt like... I mean, now... I think he's at rest now with the Four of Swords. I think he's, you know, in a like a peaceful state but yeah I mean he's like you know I really ruined that I really ruined that they argued a lot towards the end as well they argued all the time towards the end um it was not easy for him um so I do feel like these are two people that did love each other this actually came up in both of their readings um ten of cups so that they really wanted um a lot um, and I think their families loved each other. This was really like, um, you know, I, I feel sad because I could feel, um, you know what it's reminding me of, kind of, you know that new song Taylor Swift put out, um, not new song, but she made a video for an old song, I think. I watched a scenes from that, um, just like that whole, the lovey-dovey part, like I do feel like Ariana and Mac had something pure at one point and genuine um uh, most celebrity relationships i don't feel like have that but i do think they have that um okay let's see how is he i'm afraid to contact you isn't that interesting how like when i was putting the cards for ariana it said that she was waiting for a sign from him and he's and in his perspective now, it's saying he's saying he's afraid to contact her. I wish I could take back my words. He has a lot of regrets. You speak to me through music. That's so weird. I did not plan that, guys. I'm just picking. He he does speak to her through music. He has a lot of regrets as well. Um, he could have said some hurtful things and arguments sometimes. I left you when I saw you with someone. I think that's about Pete, possibly. Um, he did, he, that did hurt him. Um, okay. So let me do these cards. I'm sorry. Oh, that's so sad. This is so sad, guys. This is probably going to be one of the saddest readings I've done, okay? You didn't imagine it. They're getting similar cards. Crazy. I wish you could come back. This is so sad. Oh my god. I feel like he um he really is like he was really so regretful about that relationship ending. Um oh like I, I feel so sad now. Okay. Alright. Make the effort. He really tried to make the effort. He feels like that was he feels like she was his soulmate, like the love of his life. Um, he felt like he, she didn't love him anymore. That's not true, though. He felt like she didn't love him anymore towards the end. Um, I don't think it was about love. I just feel like it was, you know, stressful for her. Um, and this is why it's important to heal before you de date. Because, you know, you could really sabotage a good thing. If you have addictions or other issues, you know, you could sabotage a good thing. Um, so... How unfortunate. But you know what? Mac is in a better place and he's resting. And Ariana has learned about love. And she's, you know, in her marriage. Which maybe I'll do a reading for that if I feel it's right. Because I do feel like she wants a lot of privacy with that. Um, 
Okay, so let's just see. I'll just do how Ariana's life is going to turn um, it, with her love life and like how Mac impacted her. So what's the lesson here for Ariana in the future? What's, what's going to be happening with her love life? I guess that's how I can end it. She will have a child. The child could remind her of Mac or there's something about a child and Mac. It feels like there's, she could have a boy, maybe. I don't know. I feel like a girl first, but I don't know the gender, actually. I don't really know. She will be having a baby soon, though. Six of Cups. Wow, I see a lot of children in her future. Four of Cups. She could be having babies with this guy that she's married to. Yes, she will be a mother with this guy, I think. Um... I don't think there's a possibility the marriage won't last though. I don't know why. Um, I see heartache again and I see like an ending. Um, I see some sort of ending with this marriage, but that's a whole other story. She will have children though. She will have children. Calling in your soulmate. She could, one of her kids is like literally her twin flame coming in. Um, playfulness. Okay guys, the craziest thing just happened. So I was recording. And then all of a sudden, um, the camera just stopped. The reading was not in my files. Like, it just disappeared, and I was worried. Like, I felt actually, like, and this is why, like, I really feel like, um, you know, for my tarot readers and my mediums out there, I think sometimes spirit can affect technology. I know that sounds crazy, but that just happened out of nowhere. And, like, all my things were gone, so I was like, what the hell was that? but um it's fine now but like i never had anything like that before it just like the screen just went black and none of nothing was saved so and i was just so sad because i felt like the reading you know had a beautiful message to it but um it's there <laughs> hopefully it stays there hopefully there's nothing wrong with this being uploaded but wow anyways as i was saying i do feel like she's gonna have children um I do feel like there's an, an issue coming up in her marriage, though. I don't know if it's going to last because I got the three of swords and death. I don't know. I really don't know if that's possible. I got keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual. Some hiccup happening in this marriage for her. So I'm assuming it's the marriage because that's the only thing she's in right now. Um, an issue is arising there. Uh, I feel like... It, I, I hope I'm wrong because I, I don't like to give always negative answers, but I do see a p potentially them ending that marriage uh, based off the energy now. Um, yeah. Um, Mac is very regretful over like their arguments in the relationship. I just keep picking that up. Alright, so yeah, I do feel like there's an issue happening with her marriage, but nonetheless, you know, try to keep it positive. Um, she will have children, and I just really wish the best to her, and um, Matt kind of came in this reading, I feel, um, with a beautiful message for her. So um, I wasn't trying to challenge, channel him, but nonetheless, like... Um, yeah, you know, just sad. And I feel like, you know, I, I'm always doing celebrity relationship readings and stuff. And I do feel like some of them are forced. But I don't feel that here. I do feel like they loved each other. Um, and I feel like let's just send love and light to Max's soul and how that he's resting and healing. Um, and for Ariana's, you know, for her, the future of her love life, hopefully she succeeds there. Sending love and light to both of them and the fans of this reading and just the fans of both of the people involved. So anyway, I'm going to go before another weird thing happens on my camera. Bye.